எப்படி பாடினரோ அடியார் எப்படி பாடினரோ அடியார் அப்படி பாடனார் ஆசை கொண்டே சிவனே எப்படி பாடினரோ அப்பரும் சுந்தரரும் ஆளுடை Welcome back to More India, California Arts Association's presentation of Performing Arts from India. I am your host, Arvind Kansal. Continuing our series on Indian classical music, today we are going to present something interesting and unusual. We are going to take a North Indian classical rag, rag Bhim Palas, and compare and contrast it with Karnatak Dev Gandhari. In the studio, I have a Karnatak singer, Raghun Manyan. He has learned from Dr. Bar Murli Krishna. On the Hindustani side, we have Nachiket Sharma, who has learned from Pandit Basavraj Rajguru. Accompanying him on harmonium is Vijay Ghaskarvi, who learns from Arvind Khatte. Accompanying them on Radangam is Karthik Gopal Ratnam, who learns from H.S. Sudhindra. And finally, we have Sudarshan Siddhe on Tabla, who is a student of Ustad Zakir Hussain. Welcome. So Raghavan, the piece that you sang, a beautiful piece, tell us something about it. So um, this composition um, describes beautiful compositions on Lal Shiva. In fact, it talks about the great um, uh, poets of uh, yore who composed on Shiva and the composition is itself an expression of wonderment on how they managed to compose such wonderful hymns on Shiva. Yepadi Padinaro means how did they sing it. Ah, so, um, okay. uh, so it's just appropriate to start with the benediction to Lord Shiva mm -hmm. and uh, in the Raga of course uh, Karnataka Deva Gandhari mm -hmm. Uh, which is equivalent to Hindustani Bimpelas. I see. So tell us something uh, interesting about uh, what are the interesting features of how the structure of the Raga is. Okay, so um, Karnataka Deva Gandhari is a Melakarta Janya of uh, Karahara Priya, which is the 22nd Melakarta mm -hmm. in the Karnatic uh, Melakarta system. Um, the uh, Kramam or the Arohana Avarohana of the Raga is uh, Sagama Pani Sa Sani Da Pa Magari Sa So it is uh, five notes on the ascent and uh, it's Sampurna on the descent. 
but sure. it it is still uh, characteristic in its own way and very different from the melakarta karara priya mm -hmm. uh, the differences are best explained by by compositions and vanishes right. the differences uh, how about the age of it how old is the yeah, raga how old is the raga i'm not really sure about that um, mm. it must have been around for a long time mm. um, it's not a recent one it is definitely not a recent raga mm. uh, in the carnatic system the nomenclature itself is um, perhaps a bit more uh, recent uh, it may have been called something else because there is definitely a, um, a difference of opinion on what to call this raga I see. explaining the three names that go behind it okay So Nachiket, uh, I understand the Hindustani rag is uh, rag Bhimpalas. Bhimpalas, yes. It's also called rag Bhimpalasi. Some mm -hmm. people call it Bhimpalasi. Some people believe that Bhimpalas is a mixture of ragas Bhim and Palas. Right. Some people think it's a rag all its own. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a lovely rag, and uh, just as in the Carnatic Melakatha system, the, which is uh in fr from which they come different rags mm -hmm. in the hindustani tradition there is the thart system which right. is definitely not as um as exhaustive as the carnatic system the thart system has 10 thoughts mm -hmm. or scales one of the scales is called kafi mm -hmm. and from the kafi thart comes rag bhimpalas okay. so the scale of bhimpalas is also very very similar to carnatic devgan hari so uh, <clears throat> so bhimpalas goes saga ma pa ga ma pa ni sa sa ni da pa ma pa ga ma ga re sa so it is five notes going up seven coming down the rag the rag bhimpalas has a few phrases uh, so so to speak that sort of define Uh, the rag for example ne sa ma ne sa ga ma ma ga ma pa ma pa ga ma pa it has a very strong ma yes. and so ma forms a vadi of uh -huh. this rag and this is the signature this is the ne sa ma Many compositions you will see in Hindustani have this this uh, ascent. Ni sa ma skips the the re you skip anyway going mm -hmm. up, mm -hmm. but this skips the ga as well. Ni sa ma ma ga ma pa ni sa. It has a touch of the sa. Sa ni sa ni sa pa ni sa re sa ni sa ni da pa. ma pa ga ma pa ga ma pa ni ra pa ra ma pa ga ma sa ga ma pa ga ma ga re ni sa ma ga re sa kafi which is the thart rag which mm -hmm. is the uh, thart in which bhimpalas is part sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa right the scale goes up and down straight for not so bhimpalas any popular compositions that uh, our viewers might know yeah bhimpalas? Uh, bhimpalas is quite a favorite of many composers mm -hmm. uh, especially in the, in the hindi film industry one beautiful mohammad rafi song comes to mind maine chand aur sitaro ki tamanna ki thi This is a very very popular song. Right. Beautifully right. composed. Like it it brings out the Bhimpalas very nicely. There is it goes out of Bhimpalas in some phrases here and there, but the structure the, is the based on it. Essence of Bhimpalas is very much there. And then more recently in the film Lagan Air er Rehman mm -hmm. uh, composed uh, Radha kaise na jale. Beautiful composition. Radha kaise na jale. Ag agtan man me lage radha kaise na jale something like that but it has a it has a very uh, uh, very nice bean plus touch yeah so, so now check it how about an introduction to uh, the rag so we will ragman and i will do an alap mm -hmm. in this rag okay. a slow introduction to each of our respective rags <coughs>
Melden Mel Mel Mel
which is the bandesh that you're going to present this is a bandesh or a composition in uh, tal jhaptal mm -hmm. it has uh, 10 beats it's a beautiful composition okay ah When you mentioned that uh, the next piece you're going to sing is also has some alias, it's called under something, some other name. Right, the raga that I'm going to um, sing the next composition is, is popularly known as uh, Abheri, not as Karnataka Devagandari, not as Bimbalas. Mm -hmm. um, Abheri uh, has its own subtle difference from um, Karnataka Devagandari. Uh, according to one school of thought, in the other school of thought, the difference is very, very uh, apparent. Okay. So we'll only deal with the subtle change here. Okay. Um, which is that in the Avarohana, which is the descent of the ra Raga Vijaya. Sani da pa magare sa. The um, 
sixth note the daivatam mm -hmm. um, and the second note which is rishabha is going to be very very um, um, de-emphasized okay. so it will be sai ni da pa ma ga re sa uh so the slide is from the gandharam and the nishadam for this okay. uh, two notes that is really the uh, only difference in the raga okay um, i'm going to present the uh, the most popular composition in this raga uh, by saint jagaraja mm -hmm. nagu momo mm -hmm. <laughs> nagu momo ganalle ni na jali telisi nagu mo mu ganale ni raja ali ni si nanu bro vara da sri ragu vara ni closing bandesh this bandesh is in tal teen tal mm -hmm. or 16 beats <clears throat> aa jagat sansar ke vidhata jagat sansar ke vidhata jagat sansar ke vidhata jagat sansar ke vidhata तुम हो सब के दान दादा जगत संसार के विदाता जगत संसार के तुम हो नायक तुम हो दाता तुम हो नायक तुम हो दाता तुम हो नायक हो Oh, nah. 
जब सुमिरन करे तुमको ना था जगत संसार के विधाता जगत संसार के गामा पानी सा जगत संसार के जगत संसार के विधाता संसार के विधाता जगत संसार तुम हो नायक तुम हो दाता तुम इस आर प्रोग्राम फीचरिंग नशिके एंड राघव मनी मूड इंडिया प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ परफॉर्मिंग आर्ट्स इज अ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कैलिफोर्निया आर्ट्स एसोसिएशन वी वेलकम योर फीडबैक इन कमेंट एंड होप टू सी यू अगेन नेक्स्ट टाइम अंटिल देन जगत संसार के जगत संसार के जगत संसार के